Hi, it's Tony here, and in this video, we're going to be starting at the very basics for um, promoting our website and a very important subject, which is keywords. Now, people will sometimes get a little bit worried about keywords, but it's um, it's it's quite straightforward, and we're just going to start at the very basics here. And a, a good place as any to start, obviously, is Google. So. What I mean by keywords is if I just do a quick search, for example, on Website Hosting UK, you can see here, Pick a Web appears here um, on, the, on the top. Now, we're looking at the, the listings here, which are the natural listings, these ones here. The ones at the very top here, uh, with a sort of light yellow background, the one on the right-hand side, these are um, paid for advertisements, so pay-per-click, they're, they're called, which is a, a different area. So what we're interested in, we're interested in the natural traffic here. So um, let's go and there's a tool that Google provide, which um, if you just type in Google Keyword Tool, and this first one which appears that says Keyword Tool External, just click on that, and that will open up a page that looks like this. And this is a tool which will enable us to get some keyword ideas and see the amount of traffic that each of them is getting. So let's just imagine, for example, that I'm, I'm doing, that I'm a central heating company or a plumber or something like that, and I'm just interested in finding out which keywords are available in my particular area. Now let's have a look at this. I've typed in central heating here, done a search, and you can see here that on this particular keyword it's saying it's high competition. There are 368,000 searches uh, globally on this particular search and there are 301,000 locally. And by locally we mean within our country here, United Kingdom. Now you can set, if you're in the United States, Canada, Australia, Germany, Japan, France, Spain, or wherever you are, you can search, search on your particular country. You can search in different languages and obviously and you can search here in uh, different types of devices. I've selected desktops and laptops. So we can go down and we can see here the where it says competition high, it says high, medium and low. What this means is how high is the competition for that particular keyword for the pay-per-click listings. These ones here right at the very top and these ones down at the side. But for us it's, it gives us a good feel, it's a good proxy for us to, um, to find out how much competition there is. And as we go through, you'll see why that becomes more and more important to us. But I don't want you to start worrying and fretting at the moment. What, so what I'd like you to do here, the first thing I'd like to do is just select this option here, Advanced Options and Filters. And I'm going to take you back to your maths lessons here at school, if you can remember. This little symbol here, greater than or equal to. So I'm going to do a filter, local monthly searches greater than or equal to 1,000. I'm going to add another one. And I'm just going to change this around here. Local uh, monthly searches less than or equal to 5,000. And what I'm going to do, that will present me with results within the range of 1,000 and 5,000 per month locally, i.e. within my particular country. And I've chosen the United Kingdom here. So I select that and uh, it will just take out the really ultra competitive ones. Um, as I say, we'll, you'll understand why later on as we go through this. But for the moment, for the point, for the purpose of this exercise, I'd just like to do that and select here competition so that it shows you them in uh, ascending order. So you've got the lowest first and then it goes up medium and then it'll come to high. And I just want you to go through and choose one keyword here. Try to avoid the ones, for example, how does, how does something or how do you do something or why is this? Because these are people that are just... Uh, looking for information. Try to get one which could be possibly someone that's interested in buying something. It's, it's, um, if we're going to be doing an exercise, it's worth trying to make sure that we get the most from it. So here, for example, I wouldn't choose this how to flush central heating uh, system. Um, so just choose one. Don't get too worried about it. Uh, don't spend too much time doing it. If you're spending more than about three or four minutes, then then you, you're, you're, uh, you're overdoing it. Just try to find something um, that's uh, that's fairly reasonable for you, okay? And we're going to work through it in an example in the next couple of videos. So you'll you'll see why we're doing this uh, in the next couple of videos. All right. Well, that's all for now. As I say, don't don't worry too much about it. Good luck, and uh, I shall see you in the next video. Thanks then.